Every so often, we highlight someone special from our community in the Someone You Ought to Know segment. This week, we share the story of one duo going for gold. The stage was set and the opportunity was right in front of them. He was young, hungry, excited about the sport. Jerome Avery describing his teammate David Brown's competitive spirit and determination. And that's a deadly, that's a deadly weapon right there. In order to understand where Brown's motivation on the track comes from, you have to go back to where his love for the sport first began. I discovered track at the Missouri School for the Blind. Diagnosed with Kawasaki disease at 15 months old, resulting in glaucoma, Brown would lose his sight by the age of 13, but he didn't lose his deadly weapons, his legs. Yes, I don't really realize how fast I'm running. But the world does. In 2014, he became the first totally blind runner to run under 11 seconds at the 100 meter dash, going 10.92 seconds. Two years later, and they're away. And tethered to his partner on the world's biggest stage, Brown and Avery seized the moment. For Brazil on the inside, but David Brown's going to take the part in big time. Winning gold in the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio. 10.99. Now it's bigger than the both of us. You know, we we got a chance to really showcase what the Paralympic is doing then, and we're now considered elite athletes. Now just months away from another gold medal opportunity in this summer's Paralympic Games, not even COVID-19 can slow down team bravery. But when I heard that the games weren't happening, I said to Jerome and my coach, so what time is practice? Like David has always mentioned, we're gonna train hard and be prepared no matter what. And I'm happy to report David Brown and Jerome Avery, Team Bravery, still hold the Paralympic title for fastest 100 meter dash. And